Hello, I'm Shatma Pamama and um, today it's Friday and it's quarter past five in the morning. So clock over there. And I'm at Leeds Station. My dad's just dropped me off because he wakes up at like three o'clock in the morning. So oh, if you're gonna wake up that time, you might as well take me. <laughs> uh, so yes, I'm just about to go over to find where my train is and then I'm gonna just trot off to London because I'm not gonna jet set in person. <laughs> journey went really really fast. I was meant to do loads and loads of work and what I ended up doing was just hanging out on social media chatting to my friends. It was quite an amusing journey. I brought a huge huge banana to have as a snack. Really bad big mistake. I did and ended up not eating it. So since I'm in London I thought I'd go for one of the most exciting breakfasts I could find. I've only got a couple of hours before um, Channel Mum VidCon starts. That's why I set up so, so early. And I thought, right, where's the best place I can go for breakfast? Do you know where that is? The Shard. Yes, I'm going to the Shrank. 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 I can't even say it. Oh no, it's embarrassing. I'm just going to be so embarrassing. I'm going to try and pretend to be cool as if, as if I could actually be cool. And I said, I'm going to go in now. I'm just going to try to pretend that it's a good thing I do all the time, you know. I always come for breakfast at really fancy places. Did I mention I'm a little bit frightened of heights? Oh, look at this lift. Look at this beautiful lift. Oh, God, it's so fancy. Okay, this is going to be too much information. I've just gone to the ladies and the Shangri-La team. And they've got heated toilet seats. Oh my God, that's amazing. I want to live here. And look, they've got some sort of power deodorizer thing and charging points. Oh God, this is how the rich live. Oh my gosh, I've just discovered what the power deodorizer does. It's like a shower for your beats. Mm. It's amazing, it's amazing. Why have I not got one of these at home? Sorry, is it too much information? <laughs> now I'm at Covent Garden. This is really nice around here. Oh, got some gorgeous looking shops. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. And I'm sure I just saw um, Father of Daughters. If you're on Instagram, he's um, the husband of Clemmy who's just brought out a book. It's like, it's funny because when I look at Instagram and kind of look at London, I just expect to see these people everywhere I go anyway. And it's like, oh yeah, there he is. <laughs> it's just exactly how I thought it would be. So now I'm just going to have a little wander around before I meet up with some of the other girls. And I can't remember where I am because I've lost my map. So I'm just going to have a little peep around. <laughs> Just walking up from Covent Garden now, but gosh, you know, everywhere you go, there's people trying to get you, there's people trying to give you lavender, there's people trying to make you get little bars of soap, all sorts of things. You can't get a minute's peace in London. <laughs> so, I've got to make a decision today. I've got a false tooth that I wear occasionally up here. So, I've got to just, but the only thing is, I can't really speak with it. In. So, do I? wear it so I don't look like I've got no teeth when I smile or do I not wear it so I can speak freely it's a little bit of a quandary because normally I just smile in a bit of a kind of funny way but if someone catches me off guard and I laugh a lot then you'll just see this big hurly tooth I'm gonna save up for some implants yeah. teeth ones <laughs> not boob ones maybe I'll get some boob ones as well who knows who knows what the future could bring Yay, amazing! So I found it at last. Didn't even need to use my sat nav. Yes, it's a win, it's a win. <laughs> I'm one of these people that I won't ask someone for directions no matter what, no matter how last I am. I know it's traditionally a male role, not asking for directions, but it's also mine. 
to now because I can find somebody I know. I put on my special bright jacket so they're more likely to find me than I am to find them. I'm going to have to take this tooth out. I've got a lisp now. I can see people over there. Right, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. So I'm in now. I'm in. So this is the. So Mum VidCon, woo! So there's loads and loads of fabulous YouTube mummies here. All the channel mummies, Mum mummies are here. So tired. I'm trying to be a bit cool. I'm not so good. Uh, Sarah, thanks for bombing me again. Vlog bombing. I'm Chris as well. Oh look, the double. We don't normally get the double on mine. Double on mine. Yeah. 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 Well, we're bringing it up for the auction massive. Look, these are the kind of snacks you eat when you go to YouTube. That's our plan. Thank you for having us. Let me just pipe right down. There's going to be a musical number. Like, oh, my John Bola. Stay away from the school. No, no, not at all. <laughs> Genuinely, there was no more friggin' room in the suitcase because of your clothes. <laughs> <laughs>